Welcome to the very first video in the Measure Theory Reproduction List. In this video, we're going to learn why we need measure theory. The reason is quite simple. We need to measure things. We know how to measure things in, for example, the real line, right? When we consider R and we think of what elements we have in the real line, we have intervals, right? So if we call this extreme A and this extreme B, then we can measure the length of this interval. And the length is B minus A. We know how to do this. If instead of R, we look at R squared, we have the plane. And let's say we have a square here. And if this square, let's say, has coordinates AB in the x-axis and CD in the y-axis, then we know the area of the square is the multiplication of the length of its sides. Now, what are these lengths? Well, we know how to measure this one and how to measure this other one, right? So we just agreed that the length in the bottom is b minus a. And this other length is d minus c. So then the total area is b minus a times d minus c. Okay, that's the area of a whole square in the plane. And we have the same for many other shapes. For example, the area of a circle. If, let's say, this circle has a radius of r, then we know the area is going to be pi times r squared. So we can measure this. Well, the same will happen when we have three dimensions. And let's say I draw a square, uh, a cube. It's going to be awful, my drawing, but let's say we have a cube around here somewhere. Yeah, it's very bad. But And, and the cube has sides, say, A, B, C, D, and E, F. Then the volume is going to be B minus A times d minus c times f minus e, right? That's the volume. So we actually started at r and we said length, right? We can measure area in r because it's just one dimension. Then we moved on to r squared and we looked at the area for the square and for the circle. And again, we didn't measure the volume because, well, this figures have no volume, they're two-dimensional objects. And then when we go to R3, then now we do have volume. So we know that if we are in a space, in let's say Rn, we can actually call all these things, area, length, and volume, we can just call them volume, right? So it's going to be the one-dimensional volume in R is the length, the two-dimensional volume, that is in R2, is the area, and the three-dimensional volume is just the usual volume. So what if now I give you just any set, whatever, a set X, you don't know what X has. It can have numbers, it can have anything. Let's say X is, for example, the natural numbers, and uh, let's say we include the zero, just for the fun, and I ask you to measure the length of this set. It has zero, so let's say I start with zero, one, two, and three, and let's say we have just this interval, the one, three, right? It, it includes the extremes. So let me call this set A. We know that this set A is going to be formed by the numbers 1, 
two and three because we have nothing in between those because our space is just looking at the natural numbers and i ask you what's the measure here well there are many possible answers some of you could say well i'm gonna say that the measure of a is gonna be just the cardinal the amount of numbers we have here we have three elements so it's gonna be three but some of you can say well if i look at the whole interval like as if it was in the real numbers right so let's say we are now in in r and i have the same situation if i look at this set then this set is gonna have a length or a volume or a measure 3 minus 1 right which is 2 2 units but some of you can think even further and say okay yes but if you think about it the set we are actually trying to measure here in the natural numbers is the same as this other one but we're just kind of removing all this thing in the middle right because we were just keeping the numbers one two and three so we're kind of removing everything right we're just staying with these three little points and all the rest is all gone so don't come and tell me these measures too no these measures zero because i i removed almost everything all I have now are three small, insignificant points. So this is what we're going to learn in this reproduction list. How can we measure things? What is a measure? What is a possible generalization of the definition of volume? Well, if we want to generalize volume, we know that in the known cases, like the length, the area, and the usual volume, in those cases, whatever it is we define has to agree with what we already know so we're gonna start studying this in this reproduction list